Would you eat a pancake after Guy Fieri stuck his face in it? If not, you'd better hope he doesn't drop by your favorite restaurant while you're there. Keep watching to see some of Fieri's most awkward moments on his show. Guy Fieri has essentially created his own signature lingo throughout his time on diners, drive-ins, and dives. While most of the phrases are endearing, there is one that he needs to retire, referring to things as, quote, gangster. Fieri has been calling everything from menu items to cooking techniques gangster forever, and it's just overplayed, not to mention potentially offensive depending on context. Usually, those in earshot give him a pity laugh if they acknowledge it at all. Simply put, it's time for him to create some catchphrases, preferably those that are more descriptive of the individual food item he's tasting in the scene. If everything from a cheese-smothered burger to bacon-wrapped meatloaf is gangster, it's hard to really tell the exact sentiment he's trying to convey. Guy Fieri doesn't just like to eat the meals he features on diners, drive-ins, and dives, also known as Triple D. He also wants to learn the ins and outs of how those dishes all come together. But sometimes, he can get a little too hands-on with his research. Take the episode where he visits Hillbilly Hot Dogs in West Virginia and learns how to make their signature chili, for example. In this episode, you will eventually be confronted with the unsettling image of him mixing chili with his hands. Thankfully, he's wearing a plastic glove, but it's just a lot to handle. Guy's goofy commentary doesn't exactly make the situation easier to watch by any means. In fact, it makes it even more uncomfortable. While the restaurant's hot dogs do indeed look fantastic, this cringy mixing moment doesn't exactly help build up your appetite for the chili. It's safe to say that Guy Fieri isn't the most elegant eater by any means. Sometimes the way the camera zooms in on Guy stuffing his face gets to be a bit too much to comfortably watch. For example, in one episode, Fieri heads to Hawaii to discover some of the most underrated eats on the islands. Being that the show features many trendy food items, it's no surprise that he finds a spot specializing in sushi burritos. We proceed to get an up-close and personal look at Fieri eating half of the burrito in one massive chomp. Sure, it looked pretty good before, but awkwardly watching him chew on bits of ahi tuna and seaweed doesn't exactly make you want to jump off the couch and order some takeout sushi. Clearly, Guy Fieri knows what he's doing in the kitchen. He's a successful restaurateur and a businessman, but also a chef who arguably knows how to make a pretty great meal. However, sometimes he puts on his chef's hat when it's uncalled for, like when another food master is trying to show him their recipe. One example would be when Fieri visited an Austin, Texas restaurant to sample a truly delectable-looking chicken fried steak. Chef and owner Tom Davis is explaining his technique for battering the dish when Guy says, I come from the school if you put the flour on it first, it helps the egg wash stick to the flour. Everybody says that. He may have seemed unflustered, but given that Davis was simply trying to show off his cooking with cameras in his kitchen, he probably doesn't care to hear what he's doing wrong when getting his big moment on Food Network. When watching a Food Network show like Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, it can be easy to forget that the camera crew is getting all of the show's footage from the middle of a real-life working kitchen. So it's funny and occasionally a little awkward when the viewers get a glimpse at what the kitchen is like when Fieri isn't there. For example, consider the time Fieri visited the butcher shop in West Palm Beach, Florida, to try their mouth-watering brisket melt. In the episode, an employee comes up to the window and begins placing an order. Once he sees Fieri, his son, and the camera crew staring back from the kitchen, he hurriedly says, never mind and walks away. His stumbling switch from reciting a rapid-fire order to slowly backing away shows that this is not by any means a normal day in the kitchen. It's pretty easy to see the excitement Fieri radiates when he's learning a special recipe from a chef on Triple D. He clearly loves to watch their signature techniques. However, sometimes he gets carried away and starts to act as a backseat driver to the chef. This is seen when Fieri visits the Kansas City Taco Company to try a cowboy junkie burrito. The chef shows his way of preparing the dish, which starts with smoking some pork. Fieri feels the need to comment on the, quote, makeshift smoker and the lack of seasoning on the pork, all while the chef is just trying to show him how it's done. Cooking in front of a full camera crew has surely got to be an entirely new and somewhat nerve-wracking experience for many chefs already. And yet, Fieri adds to the pressure by making these comments that may unintentionally throw them off their game. Die-hard fans of diners, drive-ins, and dives would probably love it if they were eating at their favorite local restaurant and Fieri stepped by in his red Camaro to give the place a shout-out. They could rather easily get their 15 seconds of fame by hyping up their favorite menu items and diving into a signature dish on camera. However, sometimes it's clear that Fieri is bothering diners who want to be left alone to eat without a camera shoved in their faces. Take his visit to Crazy Jim's Blimpy Burger near the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor, for example. First, it's pretty hectic already, as the busy restaurant is packed with people yelling their orders. You even see one person with a mouthful of food forced to answer Fieri's questions on whether or not they love the place.
Sure, Guy Fieri isn't exactly the epitome of etiquette, but he doesn't try to hold himself forth as the graduate of a finishing school either. Regardless, we simply must draw the line when he talks with a full mouth. Guy has a penchant for speaking whenever the mood strikes him, even when his mouth is stuffed with food and he's got sauce all over his face. To be fair, we get the spectacle to a certain extent. It can't be easy to host a show where you're expected to eat food on camera and describe it. There's an art form to the whole setup that can be hard even for seasoned professionals like Fieri to get right. But for some reason, whether it's Fieri's massive bites or his method of heartily chowing down, it's off-putting to watch him speak with a full mouth over and over again. Similar to correcting a chef's recipe on camera, Fieri also is known for openly questioning a chef's techniques in the kitchen. Frankly, that's pretty unwarranted, as there's no single right way to do anything. In those moments, it's just hard to watch. For example, when Fieri visits Richmond, Virginia to try some onion rings from the historic local favorite Village Cafe, he seemingly can't help but question the chef's credibility. At one point, Fieri asks the featured chef where he learned the techniques and recipe for his standard menu items. The chef responds laconically, Where did you learn these techniques? Spin the bowl, work the... Where'd you learn that? This comes natural. This is natural blonde, too. <laughs> We've already established that Fieri isn't exactly known for his table manners when trying out dishes on diners, drive-ins, and dives. But sometimes, he takes playing with your food to a whole new level that's just unpleasant to watch. When Fieri visits Charlie Parker's Diner in Springfield, Illinois to check out their breakfast offerings, he's in awe at the massive pancakes that workers are flipping on the grill every day. In one scene, he picks up a diner's massive pancake and he sticks his face in the opening. It's not clear if the diner was done digging in and that Fieri just wanted to have some fun with the leftovers. Overs. But if that wasn't the case, Fieri's antics are probably not something that makes you want to keep eating. Throughout the years, Fieri has featured his family, particularly his son Hunter, more and more frequently on diners, drive-ins, and dives. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Triple D did something of a revamp by having small-town chefs guide Fieri in how to make their famous dishes at home. His son Hunter was a staple on the show, so Fieri didn't hold back from pulling out all of his best dad jokes. Now, considering his brand of humor, it's not a total shocker to hear a series of cheesy jokes coming out of Fieri's mouth. But it's still a little awkward, especially if you've already had your fill of dad jokes from, say, an actual dad in your life. When recreating caramel apple pie funnel cakes from Seven Bites Bake Shop, Fieri clearly doesn't hold back from embarrassing his son in front of other chefs. At one point, Fieri couldn't resist the urge to act as if he was going to high-five Hunter with a handful of batter and get the batter all over him, in typical dad fashion. Perhaps Hunter himself was fine with it, but for many audience members, it was yet another awkward Fieri moment that is reminiscent of their own interactions with cheesy dad jokes. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite celebrity chefs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.